terms of for the community and colleges, I think it's very important to be aware of all of the new studies that are being um, presented. Um, in September of 2019, we had this wonderful meeting at ESMO where three of these studies were presented at the same time. So we're able to evaluate all these um, results together. Now, all, not all of these drugs are currently FDA approved for this indication. So even though we have these trials from the results that are very intriguing, it doesn't mean you can just start out and, and um, offer that to your patient. But what was really neat about the presentation of all these two trials is the differences in the trials of these different patient populations. In some cases, um, drug combinations were evaluated and clearly different drugs were utilized. But to be able to synthesize that information, determine what's the best option for your patient. But bottom line, in select patient populations, specifically those who have the mutation, um, BRCA1 or 2, either germline or somatic mutation, or women who have homologous deficiency based on the PRIMA trial, there appears to definitely be a benefit of weapon inhibitors.